this is really close to my face hello i feel like i haven't been in front of the camera forever it's been over a month since my last video <coughs> um for those of you who like actually watch me watch me um i've been good um in case you're wondering i should talk about the college process and not the process but like being in college because i finally spent pretty much i only got like one more or two more weeks this semester i want to talk about you know school and how it's been for me wait let me put on my glossier lip gloss that i didn't think was gonna be good my camera's dying oh my god all right so i'm back um putting the lip gloss on now <laughs> pretty much like i said i was talking about college college is hard college makes you spend money you don't have to spend and i'm not talking about like school books and stuff i'm talking about retail therapy um college you know takes time college is tough college is you know but it's good it's good you know education education we don't need that stuff whatever uh for reference i go to a private school in new york city um i'm going there for free so i might not have like certain struggles and i'm sorry but i'm uh, sorry so first thing i was kind of underwhelmed when i got into college just because it's like in middle school and high school you work so hard to get into the like the next level like you work hard in middle school to get to a good high school you work hard in um high school to get to a good college but college you're working for the degree and stuff so i mean not that you don't try as hard but you're not like aiming for those hundreds it's just like as long as i stay at the gpa i need to get that's pretty much you know how it goes but i'm in the honors program so what they need is 10 hours of mentorship per semester one school event and one community service event, which is like a breast cancer walk, a soup kitchen, stuff like that. Um, and on top of that, I'm keeping up with a part-time job. So, I mean, it it is stressful. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I be stressed and there's days I'm up like super late, but it's not that bad if you know how to manage your time. And I know people say this all the time, but you need to be able to manage your time. If you can't manage your time, you can't do college. And I'm sorry that came out rough, but it's true. It's true. Like pretty much what I did, I front loaded all my work. Like. I was super stressed with my own deadlines in like September and October. So like, you know, you get your syllabus, blah, 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 blah. And you know, it tells you when your midterms, your finals. I was doing freaking midterms in September. Cause you know, sometimes like teachers don't want to give you a test and they give you an essay instead. So I was doing essays early. I was doing research before the classes even started. Just so I knew what the material was before class and all that stuff. So like just front load yourself for everything because even if you're on top of yourself as much as I am, when you get to the end, you're, you don't want to do work. As soon as that Thanksgiving break hits, even before that, you're just like, mm, I, I don't think so. And there was a point that I had to work extra hard at work just because like, you know, like promotions or whatever. And then you have to work extra hard in school. And it was just like these two big things at once. That's when it hit me hard. But as soon as things start balancing out and it's like, you know, I'm doing better at work because, you know, I'm adjusting and then like you know doing better in school because you already did all the work in the beginning like it's just it's different so please 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 manage your time so it's not that bad like it's it's really not but you just got to manage your time if you can't i'm sorry i had to break it to you and no. if you don't have a job it is so easy just to get your shit done and be good and you know have a social life i mean i have a social life too but it's just like weekends breaks and that's kind of it which is fine because like christmas break is a month like a month and like a week or something so it's okay but <clears throat> seriously if you're not working it is great like, you have so much time you have like this whole thing like a big shock to me i know like they say this all the time you get to make your own schedules but you don't feel it until you make your own schedule and it's just like Yo, I'm out of school at 11 a.m. I can either go to Popeyes with some friends or go to the, the library, not actually study, but just find some more friends <laughs> or, you know, actually do your work. Me, I've, I've been pretty diligent with that kind of stuff. Like, I'm very on top of my stuff. I ignore people who try to talk to me because I'm like, listen, until I'm done with my work, I, I'm sorry. Another thing in college is just like, you got to adjust to different ways of teaching because seriously, like some people are auditory learners, tactile learners, all that kind of stuff, visual learners. You're going to be screwed because I'm very like hands on. I like being able to do things like things being in my hands. But then there's teachers who like they want to baby you, which is cool for some people, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. 
but nah, I'm not that kind of person. Like I have this one class where it was just like, majority of the stuff was online and it was just like pretty much do this. They, they had stuff that was due like three months after and I finished everything within like the first three weeks of school. So it was just like, that made me feel good. But then I have other classes where like, oh, I keep on saying it like this, that's weird. But they have other classes where it's just like, you know, the teacher wants everybody to do things in a group all the time, which is good. Like when you have people who, who work, you know, as hard as you and stuff, which is fine. Like I, I was put in a class with a group and like everybody does a fair amount of work, so it's okay. But for those of you who get stuck with people who just like don't do anything and you're the one that does everything, I, it, it's gonna be hard, especially if your teacher doesn't know how to like <coughs> distribute grades and you know, according to whoever did the most. So it's gonna be tough. And you, there are gonna be times you're gonna have to pick up other people's slack for the sake of your GPA. Like me, I gotta keep my GPA at a 3.7 and that's tough. <coughs> You got so much freedom in college, you gotta have some crazy self-discipline. I've always had that. I don't wanna sound cocky, but I've, I've always been on top of my stuff. So it wasn't really that bad for me. But if you're used to people being up your ass telling you what to do, they tell you this in middle school, but you're hearing it from somebody in college. Yeah, it's true. Nobody's getting at you for anything. Nobody's gonna tell you, oh, you forgot to hand in this paper. They'll just send you an email, be like, listen, you owe this much money. Or listen, like, uh, why isn't this assignment in? You failed it, but uh, there's nothing you can do. Sorry, bud. It happens. So, <coughs> watch out for that. I would say just, I wouldn't say overwhelm yourself, but definitely, <laughs> sounds bad, but give yourself more work than you have to do so that you're not overwhelmed when you're given work that you do have to do and you can finally put off the things that you would have normally done to push yourself, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's like, you never want to get too comfortable. Like, I know there are gonna be like semesters, like maybe at least like two that I know like my workload isn't gonna be crazy because I'll have, I'll still be full time, but I know the classes, like the actual content won't be nearly as bad. Like me specifically, I'd be like focusing more on my YouTube on times that I have easy classes or focusing more on work and stuff. So, I mean, yeah. <coughs> and another thing, What's it called? Focus on like your like making your schedules super early. Like I started making my schedule in the middle of August, and then I finally got it. I got it submitted early um, November. I was one of the first to. My camera was being rude and just like decided the card was too full. But like I was saying, I was one of the first people to get my um, schedule submitted because I made my appointments and stuff like that. So just be aware of all your college's websites and resources, just because. You know, you may have access to it and you don't know and, you know, make sure you don't get screwed. <clears throat> Stay hydrated. Don't take 8 a.m. classes. Do not. It's okay if you have, like, two days you got 8 a.m. classes or something, depending on how far it is. But do not take 8 a.m. classes. Don't do it. So I know you're gonna say I've been going to school at 8 a.m. every day since I was younger, but I didn't believe the hype either. But now I do because at first it's okay. At first you're like, meh, 8 a.m., nothing. But when you get all that freaking work and you don't have a single day that you can sleep in, it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. <clears throat> Lucky me, you know, I have some mandatory classes I need to take next semester where I gotta be in the building by, guess what time? Like 7.50 because my classes start at 8 or 8.30. So please, like, look look ahead all the time at, you know, what classes you may need and how you wanna structure it because it, 8 a.m. classes suck. There's so many ways to get in for free. Please, like, do not take these freaking scholarships for granted because it's just like, I got mine because my school had a scholarship day. They were like, oh, write an essay or whatever. And um, best one, most impactful, I don't know. The best one, whatever, you get a presidential scholarship. They pay for everything. They're paying for my books. They're paying for my tuition. And it's just like, you can have, I, I got that in 500 words. Like, what? What's it called? Try to look at scholarships that the school you want to go to is giving. Because, you know, one, they'll get back to you faster. And two, it's just like, I feel like those never work. The ones that are like on the websites, 
that it's like scholarships.com and stuff. I feel like nobody ever gets those and because so many people apply to specifically those, it's hard. That's why I would also say like apply scholarships from your own high school. There's so many stupid ones. There's even ones like, oh, if a parent of yours has ever worked for like the Coca-Cola company, you could get like 20,000, like stuff like that. It's, it's crazy. Um, do your FAFSA stuff, you know, finesse the government however many ways you could. Everybody does it. It's not even like, Everyone does it, <laughs> but yeah, don't take 8 a.m.s, manage your time. Don't really, you know, waste your time doing stupid stuff. Please be productive and front load your work. Thank you for watching. I noticed my sub count is slowly going up and I have not promoted a single video on over a month. So I'm just like, I wonder where they're coming from. I'm glad they're coming. Uh, if you're one of those people telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, thank you. I appreciate it and I think that's it. Oof, one last time. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, and I hope this helped, and I hope you kind of feel better. Thank you.